You want to know the fastest way to waste thousands of dollars? Social media ads. Sometimes. Okay, I'm going to share with you a little bit about why I think social media ads can sometimes be a waste of money. And if you want to explore it anyway, go for it. I'll share a few tips on how to make it successful for you. So here's the thing that I wish all real estate agents knew about social media ads. If you are paying any amount of money for social media ads, specifically via Facebook or even some Google PPC, but mostly I'm talking about the Facebook ads, you have to know that on average, the maturation for these leads a lot of times is going to be between one to two years or more. If you're not familiar with the term maturation, that means the day you generate the lead to the day you close it. So if you don't have the right systems in place in your business to follow up and close a lead, that is going to span over two years, then you do not need to be doing social media ads. This is a really bad idea and it's going to waste all of your money. I might be painting with a little bit of a broad brush here and I know that some will disagree with me, but in my experience of coaching hundreds of agents throughout the US and Canada, this is it. My opinion is that social media ads can be a really great way to supplement some of the marketing campaigns you have going on for your real estate business, but it is not a silver bullet and it is not going to replace more traditional lead generation prospecting methods that you need to be nailing down first. The other thing you should know about social media ads is that the conversion is literally like one to 2% on a good day. So even with that really long maturation time for these leads, expect to only close maybe between one to 2% of what you're generating. So for every 100 leads that you get in, one or two might be viable if, again, you have the right systems in place for follow-up and conversion, nurturing, closing. Now, can it still be a really cost-effective way to generate a lot of leads, get some great contacts, and fill up your pipeline down the road? Of course. And there are so many great ways to utilize social media ads that don't necessarily go just towards generating a quick lead, right? You can use social media ads successfully for remarketing. You can use them to promote an event or other initiatives that you have. You can use them to grow an email list for your business by promoting a list builder like a free ebook or an online class that you have geared towards first time home buyers or other niche prospects that you're looking to tap into. I think that those kinds of campaigns and initiatives, there is so much potential to explore. And me personally, I will always explore those first beyond just kind of like trying to get people interested to look for a house because people aren't going onto social media to find real estate. Like there's a very low level of intent there. There is almost no urgency, which is why when you do these ads, a lot of times the responses, if you can even get them on the phone, they're like, oh, I was just looking at the houses on your website. No, I was just, no, no thanks. I'm, I'm just looking. You get a lot of that and, and it can be really frustrating. Finally, and I'll quit harping after this, but finally, the last reason why I'm really not a fan of these is come on. Like we wear enough hats as it is in this industry. Let's just have a quick talk here. You and I, we're not digital marketers. Like we did not get into real estate to learn how to master the ever changing landscape of ads management. It's incredibly complex. There's a lot of moving parts. There are so many restrictions and regulations that seep into it because of fair housing. And there's just a lot going on. I think that our time is a lot better spent in other areas that I talk about on this channel. But say you're still interested and you're like, you know what, you make a lot of valid points, Stephanie. Thank you. But I still really want to explore social media ads as a function of my business. Here's when you need social media ads for your business. If you are consistently closing 15 to 20% of your database conversion each year, if you have maxed out conversion across your other lead sources, and by the way, you need a minimum of three that don't include paid ads. If you've maxed out conversion across those, and if you have found that you have the right systems and automation to follow up with leads for at least 12 months and successfully close them, then I think social media ads are something that we can consider. I know this is really inconvenient for those who are hoping that this is gonna be like a quick win. I know you've been doing a lot of research, thinking about like how to set up your first Facebook ad or your first Instagram or whatever, and, and you're really excited about the prospect to just get some quick leads for cheap. Nothing comes cheap, right? You might 
pay a low cost per lead, but it is going to cost you so much more in the process of trying to close these, which is why you have to have a sustainable business model in place first before we start investing in other things just to test them. So say you do have that sustainable business model, like I mentioned, conversions good, lead sources are good, systems are good to go, awesome. Here's how not to blow it once you do bring in social media ads. Just a couple quick tips. I would really urge you, I strongly urge you to have a professional do this for you. Yes, you will pay more. Yes, it will be more involvement, it will be more of a thing, but if you're gonna invest in your business, if you're gonna pay and try to anything new, you have to make sure that you have the best doing it for you. Because again, we're not digital marketers. And if, if setting up ad campaigns is going to come at the cost of 20 hours per week that is going to be pulling you away from other revenue producing activities, you cannot stomach that cost because what is going to happen? Your pipeline is going to suffer, your conversions are gonna suffer because the lead sources that are already working for you, that you've already nailed down, are not going to be able to continue running without your oversight, likely. So really consider having a company come in and do this for you. I happen to be involved with White Lopo. They are my marketing platform and I do have a modest ad spend with White Lopo that does generate leads for me. It is not my number one lead generation source. Number one, it is not my best converting source and it is not the number one driver of new clients to my business by a long shot. But honestly, the rest of my business is set up so well, it doesn't hurt to have. And it does bring in a few extra closings each year that I wouldn't have had otherwise. And they do so much more than just leads. Cause remember the other stuff that I said you should be looking for? Ylopo, and this is again, I mentioned Ylopo from time to time. They're not giving me anything for this. I just, I've been a client of theirs for a really, really long time and they're an important part of my business today. They've been able to set up a custom site that is awesome, thelugos.com. They have an incredible IDX search site that a lot of my clients actually enjoy more than my MLS portal, whatever. They do remarketing to my existing database, which I love, and they have a lot of seller experience services that they incorporate in my database marketing as well. Just stuff like Homebot, really cool stuff that just engages my database and provides that extra touch value to them without my direct involvement. Again, it's all about leverage. I just happen to think Ylopo is a great product because I personally use them, but I know there's other really great ad managers out there and other, other platforms you could be looking at too. So I just, if you don't wanna blow it, don't go it alone, <laughs> have the best come in and do that for you. You just have to understand your goals so that you can hire the right person to step in and do this on your behalf. Now, once you have this set up and rolling, I want you to just remember a few things on the back end to make sure again that we're not going to blow it. So my rule of thumb is anytime you are doing this, number one, if you are generating more than 25 leads a month, which you absolutely will with social media ads, you have to have a CRM non-negotiable. You don't get to complain about that anymore. That is now the cost of you doing business. <laughs> so whether your 25 leads a month are coming from another lead source or social media ads, it's time to have a CRM and you can, you can afford to pay that if you can afford to invest in these other services. If you're generating more than 50 leads a month, you need to have some kind of ISA, some kind of automated follow-up, some kind of an appointment setting, feature ready to go. You might be able to handle this yourself for the time being, right? Like you might be able to block out two to four hours a day, Monday through Friday to really handle your call volume and consistently set appointments. But as you start closing those deals, it's gonna take more time away from you with other aspects. And you just have to be prepared to have somebody else step into that role. Appointment setting is not your highest revenue producing activity. I know that sounds weird, but really it's being able to generate and retain leads. That's your highest revenue producing activity. And appointment setting is a really small factor in that, that you can hire somebody or something to do for you at a cheaper rate. So for me, for example, the reason why I'm still doing social media ad spend with White Lopo is because they have an integrated AI inside salesperson who nurtures and talks to all of my leads for me and sets appointments. 
so they have that already baked in it's an extra fee i just pay it it's not a big deal if you don't have something like that with your current setup you can explore other companies like agentology or conversion monster or ava right these are just a few companies that i know of off the top of my head who will pay per or who you who you can pay per lead on a monthly contract basis to help set appointments and convert for you just a few ideas to get things going i'm not trying to like burst the bubble here and ruin your vision of closing tons of deals for a very low cost per lead i'm not trying to do that i've just been burned personally in my own real estate business by this and i've seen a lot of other real estate agents burn too which is why i think that there's a time and a place for any kind of ad spend but it happens a lot later than you think and you have to have a lot more than you realize to make it successful now this is the part where i extend myself for a little additional support because this might sound really complicated to you and this might have you realizing that you have a lot of systems and initiatives in your business that are maybe not firing at the cylinders that we need them to. And so if you want to know what it looks like to have a coach in your corner who's gonna shoot it straight with you, tell you what you need to know and actually give you a strategy to follow, not just rah, rah, are you doing your calls? I would love to invite you to check out the Market Authority Academy where I'm having conversations just like this with real estate agents every single week. You could be one of them too. Again, you don't have to go it alone and having some really good strategy from someone who's been there before can make all the difference to your investment in your business. So check out the show notes to find a way to book a call with my team, learn more about the Academy and see if that coaching program is right for you. Okay, I really hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in and until next time, keep on crushing it.